everybody, and I'm sorry if there's a bit of a time issue with these next few episodes. Some of these episodes are going to be recorded at different times. Specifically this episode. This episode is being recorded on the 16th, but this episode was originally recorded on the 6th. They were on Linux Camp today, it's not much of a place, but they do make fine tea here. <laughs> well then, it's about time I got to work. Let me go make some arrangements. I may be late, so look, take a look around. Follow the Vixer wants us to meet. I can't quite trust that man. I have no idea. So what should we do now? I'd love to take a shower. First things first, we're gonna fix that room that we got. Have the Cleo, she got a magic teaser in our party. So the Soul Eater room. It's useless against bosses for the most part, and yeah. Not too useful. All right, we should upgrade our armor. So yes, I've had to record this particular episode quite a few times because of my um, Hill Packard. His motherboard is now currently dead. However, the last many episodes you're going to be seeing up until the point which I will uh, be speaking in that episode of what point that will be. But it's a very long way right away from now. Will be when I stop recording. Um, with my, uh, hip Packard because my motherboard died. Um, I had got it fixed off and on through the recording of these, uh, Shakoden videos. The reason why I'm recording this one out of order, um, because I'm currently, like, halfway through the game, and I went back and found out that this episode in particular, the fifth episode that you're going to see now, Unfortunately, I don't have it. I don't know where it went. I transferred all of my files over to my Acer because my motherboard on my other computer's dead, so I basically have to use that that one now. The Acer. And yeah. Um I'm gonna try to not really speed through this, but try to get as close to, like, getting up to where we last left off. Unfortunately, it's going to be about two episodes that I've missed. Two or three, it depends um, on how fast I can do this. Um, yeah, so hello everybody from the current day. The episode you're going to be seeing will record on the 6th, so... Are the best rooms you have. I guess what's his name, Victor, never returned. We didn't make any thoughts of plans. Let's wait a little bit longer, and if he doesn't show up, I'll still head north. Perhaps Master Tail can help us. Cleo, why did Pam? Don't, Cremiel. What's going on? It's such a late hour. We've heard that some fugitives are staying here. We'll look around. But sir, our guests are sleeping. Shut up! Do you plan to harbor rebels? <coughs> My throat. <coughs> no master, they're coming for us. Victor, he must have ratted on us. I knew we shouldn't have trusted him. This doesn't look good. They'll find us for sure. What should we do, young master? There's nowhere we can really run, just saying. I mean, there's no windows in this entire building, so you'd, like, run through a brick wall. Not sure if we can, like, use Grimio or Cleo as, like, a battering ram and try to break through the brick, but it probably wouldn't only get very far before they'd, you know, die. There's no real place you can run because they're at the front, but even still, why wouldn't you... Why, why wouldn't you fight? I mean, we were against, like, 20 bandits with, like, five of us, and we beat them with, like, no problem. I like these odds. Let's fight. Yes, young master. Uh, Grimio will protect you with my life. Oh, stop it, Grimio. He was kidding. There's too many of them. Calm down. We're in big trouble now. Grimio, maybe we can get young master out before. This way. Hurry. 
Obusat. What are you waiting for? Hurry, do you want to get caught? Who are you? Whoever it is, thank God. So you're the new friends Victor told me about. Everyone's waiting. Follow me. You got some really bad plumbing. Sorry, Tay, you must have had a hard time, but it was exciting, wasn't it? What's going on here? I didn't think I'd give myself away so soon. Oh well, now that you've met Odessa... Odessa, the name rings a bell. You don't mean the Rebel Army. Rebel Army. We prefer to call ourselves the Liberation Army, but who cares about names? Let me introduce myself. I'm Odessa Silverberg, leader of the Liberation Army. How do you do? Victor, are these the people you wanted us to meet? That's right! Prepare yourselves for a surprise. This here is the son of General Tao McDowell. And a fugitive to boot. Don't you think he'll be a great asset to the Liberation Army? You've gotta be kidding! Why should young master join the rebels? Right, young master? Maybe I should join the Liberation Army. I mean, uh, everything has been kind of suspicious for the Imperial Army, so... So he says he's interested. No way. Recently, many of our hideouts have been discovered. There must be a spy among us. With all the problems we already have, we can't afford to recruit complete strangers. I guess you've all been fooled by Victor as well. Whenever he takes a liking to someone, he just drags them in. But they do appear to be haunted by the Imperials, and the town's still full of soldiers. You may stay until things blow over. Whatever decision you make afterwards is up to yourselves. You've got to be cutting, young master! Join the rebels! No way! Rebels? Liberation Army? Well, why not? Maybe we should become true rebels. On the other hand, what will Master Teo think? Odessa greets you as a guest, so will I. My name is Flick, Lightning Flick of the Liberation Army. You never heard of me? Well, then remember the name. The quiet one there is Humphrey, the swordsman, and that's Sanchez. We three are pretty famous in the Liberation Army, you know. You don't really think the Empire take you, will take you back, do you? They'll kill you for sure! Meh. I'm so sorry, you must have had a fright. Victor's got bad habits. I guess we're enemies. Too bad. My name's Sanchez. How do you do? Oh no! Down D stairs has taken another victim! Ah, are you alright? Must tell Lady Odessa. Let's take him inside. Where am I? Don't worry, this is the Liberation Army hideout. Have you a message for me? You must be Odessa, thank goodness. I'm one of the ba Mount St. Fu bandits. Are we only attack those rotten Imperials. Anyway, the other day, the Imperial Guard came over and captured our Barkas, Var bosses, Varkas and Synodia. Called it Barkas. Varkas and Synodia, could they be... Shh, be quiet. Lady Odessa, please, help Varkas and Synodia. The rotten Grady of Rockland has strung them up to starve to death. Outrageous! Execution without trial, and by Imperial law, that's illegal! Odessa, Imperial surveillance has been intense lately. We have to keep a low profile. I'm aware that we're understaffed. The bandits have asked for our help. We can't let them down. This has nothing to do with us. Just stick our fingers up our nose and walk away. It's our fault. What do you mean it's your fault? We... I see. Well, even if you all didn't know what you're doing, you still have to claim responsibility, right, Tay? You must rescue Varkas and Sinonia. I'll help you too! I agree, I don't plan to betray the Empire, but O'Grady is unforgivable. You're right. Undoing Grady's wrongdoings would be good for the Empire. Besides, if Young Master gives the orders, I will follow. Thank you. Varkas and Sinonia are struggling at the home of the Rockland's military commander. If you don't hurry, they'll dry up. Please help them. 
beg of you to. Victor, you go too. Leave it to Victor! Let's get going, Tay! Rockland, here we come! Don't for a moment think that I trust you. Victor, that goes for you too. Please, Tay. Help them. Barks and Sidonia, please help them right away. Rockland is east of the capital, from Lemon Pamp, it's northeast. Bear. All right. Well, let's get going. I'm <laughs> letting most of these guys go. Oh crap! I forgot. Um. So Victor is the first example, aside from Pan, of an enemy- or not enemy, what am I saying? I got in the thing of battle, mixed it up. Victor is the example of the first time you can have a, I'm sorry, this is what I meant to say, someone who has to be in the front lines in order to attack. We've had a lot of instances where characters will attack no matter what position they're in, um, but now we finally have a character that is forced to be in the front. If you have Victor in the back, he will not attack. Grimio will attack in the back. Tay will attack in the back. Cleo will attack in the back, obviously, because she's a ranger. Pan has to be in the front, and Victor also has to be in the front in order to attack. They're kind of the tanks of the group. Who are you? You have no business here. Get out, or you'll be strung up like those bandits there. Leave it to me! I'm used to things like this! Help! Help! The Great Mansions is on fire! Fire! What? Victor! What have you done? You didn't! <laughs> I didn't do anything! It must be the dry weather! My goodness! Young Master, don't you dare take after someone like this! Pop! Goes the Imperial Soldier. Yeah, we're kind of overleveled for this part. Um, as you can see, Victor is level 7. That's actually overleveled for this area. It's meant to be like your guide that protects you through all this hard time, and we'll have... A lot of bits in the story where that'll happen, where we'll get a party member that's way overleveled for the area we're in. But the rest of us will be pretty weak to it. Farming isn't as advantageous as you would think it right now. We don't really have abilities to farm very efficiently until over halfway through the game. But even still, uh... As of right now, you should only farm for things that are level locked, which we'll be getting into that later. That and a couple other things, because farming is fun in this game, it's just... There's some strong enemies, so... You gotta go pretty far. Pink brass armor. Everyone can equip that, but I'm gonna put that on Victor, because he's the tank of the group. Yeah, these square little buildings, I always didn't... I always thought that was like walls. I didn't know that these were actual rooms you could go into. So I lost some of this stuff when I was first playing the game. Let's see, I don't have that much farther to go before the, um... I get back the uh, things that I lost, though I have to play through a little bit further because um, I lost two different saves. Um, not saves, what am I talking about? I lost two different. Um... Part, parts of the uh, videos, I think, because of the toothache I had had at the time when I was recording this originally, I had forgot to hit the record button. So, yeah. 
think that is why I lost two different episodes at two different times. Shouldn't take me very long to get back to that part, because it's right after this. What's going on? I can't see. My god, it's you Imperials! Are you here? Have you come to laugh at me? Of course not. If we'd known what sort of fellow Grady was, we would have never helped him. A few things happen, and now we're wanted by the Imperials like you. We'll help you out. Thanks, get my buddy too, will you? Huh, <laughs> not necessary. Zendonia, why you? If you've got tricks like that, why didn't you escape sooner? <laughs> can't very well escape alone. Zendonia, you... Hey, let's get out of here. to turn it against the Emperor. Free the bandits, and even if you set fire to my house, you'll be sorry! So you want to fight? Don't think you're the only one with a grudge. Why? I'll cut out your eyeballs. What the? Well, uh... <laughs> I'd rather turn to pieces. Uh, please! Well, uh, you see... You'll regret this. I'll tell Master Crazy about this. You'll get yours! Leo, do you think the Emperor will take us back? I don't know. Young master. <laughs> Don't worry, there's all kinds of ways to make a living. Yeah. Alright, well, let's get out of here. I guess we'll the British Army our lives. Tell Lady Odessa that if she ever needs her help, Marcus and Sinonia will be there in a flash. Oh, we're off! Perhaps we'll meet again. It was great to be done! Let's go back to Linden Camp. Dave, why don't you spend a bit more time in the Liberation Army? Come on! And Master, when we return to Linden Camp, let's decide what to do with this right. And we're getting close to the, uh limit that I like to keep these vet videos at, but we're so close to being where we need to be. Oh, those are drop earthworm pieces. I didn't know that. That's good to know. Those dwarves can drop. <laughs> you can farm rune pieces if you want. You can go around and kill a bunch of enemies for a lot of them, because it... Rune pieces are a good thing. They just take a long time to farm, which I'm going to be going over in a few minutes, because the next episodes are going to explain a little bit of what that's what I'm going to be doing, but um, I might as well explain it in this one as well. Hey, you're back. Thank God our problems are solved. What do you mean? Odessa, you're not planning to... Yes, I am. What, what, what's going on? Tay, hey, take a look at this. What is that? Show me. What is this? Lens for his fire spear. Fire spear? Right? The Liberation Army may be tiny now, but someday we'll be big enough to meet them heroes head on. When that day arrives, the Fire Spear will come in handy. We spent good money for this at the Dwarf Mines. Tay, this br blueprint must reach our secret factory, but we can't leave this hideout unattended. I'd like you to take on this assignment. Enough! Don't you understand that we're members of the Imperial Army? How can you expect us to betray them? Let's go, young master. No need to stay here any longer. Wait! Do you have any idea what the Empire is really doing? Do you know what the people want? Or will you pretend to ignore all that? Romeo, you saw with your own eyes. Heard with your own ears. Are you willing to ignore all the truth despite all you've seen here? What about you, Tay? Do you still want to return to the Empire and continue being McDole's little boy? My father goes his way, I go mine at this point. 
Wait just a moment, young master. Talk like that and you'll never rejoin the Imperials. Don't you care? Come on, Cleo, talk to him. I go where young master goes. My job is to protect him. Those are the orders I receive from Master Tao. Okay, let me explain. This is a blueprint for a fire spear. It has to be delivered to the Liberation Army's secret factory. Northwest of Linden Camp, across the river, lies Mount Tiger Wolf. Over the mountain lies a village called Serity. Someone from the factory will meet you there. Dessa, I just don't get it. Why do you insist on this guy? He may be Imperial Spy. Yet you want to give him the blueprint for something that could change the destiny of the Liberation Army? Don't worry, I'm going too. What? If you're going, I'm going too! Look, if you come along, who's going to protect this place? It's about time you began acting like a leader. Don't worry, Flick. I'll probably protect Odessa if you promise to protect this hideout. It's settled. It's Mount Tiger Wolf, then. If anything harms comes to Odessa, you'll be sorry. Alright, now that death threats are out of the way, let's continue on. Trying to speed through this a little bit story-wise because I've got quite a lot of more to do still. And I hope that the recording that I'm thinking of will not be that long for the rest of it. Oh, that's the wrong way to go. Because there's another part after this, like a couple episodes after this, that I have to record as well. Um, and that's a lot. I have to do a lot of recording. Sun's beginning is set. Do you think we can cross mountains before dark? I don't want to spend the night out in the open. In any case, we have to go up. Let's go. There are enemies here that I'm going to be spending a good pit bit of time uh, killing because of farming. However, that is going to be in the um, episode after this. You're going to be seeing that happen. However, for the filler episodes here, you're probably not going to see me doing that. The water enemies will give you water rune pieces, which you want to put on your tanks because it will make you auto-regenerate health every time your turn passes. Um, or starts, rather. You can get that up to an absurd amount. You can farm the enemies here to get uh, water rune pieces for your tanks. Specifically, I would put it on Victor because Victor's a very good tank. He ends up having a lot of HP, a lot of good defense. The snails here, if you can farm those for defense rune pieces, though they drop them much less. And these guys are the other enemy you can fight in this area that will drop karate uniforms, which are a armor item that we cannot buy yet. It's worth about 3,000 gold, so partially I just end up uh, farming for these in the next part. I cut most of that out, so don't worry. Um, I'm just going to get up to this next part of the story, and then I'm going to end it. These parts might be a little bit longer than the previous parts, just because I kind of want to make them one episode and, you know, get as much as what I, of what I have missed as possible. I may also have to look at my uh, notes to make sure that I get everything after this part because I got a lot of things and um, I'm gonna have to play up to that point again and I also need to show everybody what to do. I'm still debating on certain things uh, to show that were unfortunately skipped out on. Welcome, travelers. Coming up at such a late hour, you've really got guts. But you'd better stop here and continue tomorrow. It's dangerous out there with all the monsters and all, so why don't you spend the night here? Sorry, we're in a hurry. Great idea! My feet are killing me! For once I'm in agreement with you, I'm not sure I can go on. The 
Default answer is me too, but I'm just gonna say we better go on because it seems kind of shady. You must be kidding, I've lost control of my feet. Me too. Oh well, how does sorry your feet are moving of their own accord do? To tell the truth, the mine want to rest too. I'm going in, Tay! Well, I'm gonna complete the deck. Where are you going? Your companions have already untied their shoes and are relaxing. <laughs> Excuse me, why don't you have some of this before supper? <laughs> Special tea from the Mount Tiger Wolf. Let's give it a taste! That's pretty bitter. Very bitter. Here's some for you, too. Not if it's bitter. Come on, just a taste. Nope, not if it's bitter. Not that bad. Besides, it's good for you. Not if it's bitter. Please, have some. Nope. Alright. Here you go, but be careful. It's very hot. Hmm, it smells kind of funny, doesn't it? Say, old man, what's this tea called? It's a special Mount Tiger Wolf brew called Robber's Tea. That's a weird name for... My god, this is... Hey, you, what have you given us? Dang, such an old trick. Young master. Out cold. Everyone's asleep thanks to the drug tea of Mount Tiger Wolf. Wow! For a bunch of stragglers, these guys are loaded! Looks like we'll be living the good life for a while. Hey, Lud, how have you been? Doing well for yourself, I see. <coughs> Why's Boss Kessler? Welcome. Welcome. As you can see, I just pulled the job. Fine-looking woman in the bunch, too. Wait a minute, this here is... Ledin, what have you done, you fool? What do you mean? Do you know who this is? Just some stupid traveler, I should think. Idiots! Even an ignorant must of you, like you, must have heard of the Lady Odessa of the Liberation Army. Well, of course, boss. Even no kids know who Lady Odessa is. You don't mean that this here is... Yes, I do! Hurry and prepare an antidote! Well, let me see. A rabbit's tail, rose leaves, a handful of sugar. Ledin, if anything happens to Lady Odessa, you can say goodbye to your head. Yikes, Rose's tail, sugar leaf, a handful of rabbits. <laughs> Forgive me, Lady Odessa. Without knowing it, I nearly committed my life's gravest terror. If you like, I'll make Ledin here pay with his... Please, sir, spare my head. Don't be ridiculous. I'll have to be more careful from now on. Maybe I do trust people too much, like Flick says. I have no way of apologizing, but please stay here for the night. I'll do what I can by way of hospitality. But no more poison, you hear? Are you a member of the Liberation Army, too? I see, so you're not. Lady Odessa is a true heroine. She's theorist serious about throwing or overthrowing the Empire. There are many who express discontent, but only she means to do something about it. I hate the Empire, too, but I'm just a bandit. I hope Lady, Lady Odessa is our hope for freedom. I'm going to give up serving poison tea. I've learned my lesson. Good morning, young master. You're up early, Tay. Hey, Grimio, why is Cleo in such a bad mood? Don't bother her, Victor. Cleo is always in a bad mood when she wakes up. I see everyone's here. Today we reach Sarity. Leaving already? Unlock the door. And with that, we have officially gotten to the part where I unfortunately lost a recording bit. And now we're going to be going back to where we need to be.
All right, well, let's see here. In the next episode, we're going to be going to...